Another week and another awesome episode of Ori Monogatari. Really, this show has just gotten to the point where it never lets you down. You know exactly what to expect from it by this point. So basically you enjoy it if you've watched it this far and you're going to love each episode. <laughs> and if you haven't got this far, you really should try it. It's really good. It's got a lot of shoujo plot points in it, but at the same time delivered in a fresh way. For example, in this week's episode, we've got the love triangle sister coming back into it. But she's got a dude that's super in love with her. And they're actually really good together. Like, the older sister's such a cool character. She's obviously everyone's big sister. She takes care of everyone and tells everyone what to do. She's bossy, but in a loving kind of way. And that's why this guy fell in love with her. Whereas all the other girls would just be super sweet to him and be like, Oh, it's too bad. I feel so bad for you. Oh my god. She'd be like, Hey, you're an idiot. Act up. Be a good dude. Stop being such a douche. Like, she said it as it was. She tried to take care of him. And that's why he fell in love with her. And she is an awesome character for that kind of thing. And he realized something about her. And it's something she really should have figured out herself. Is that she still has feelings for Takeo. She hasn't gotten rid of them yet. Because she never managed to confess to him. And actually tell him how she felt. And it's just because of that. That she is never going to get over her feelings. And this new guy Oda Hayato realized that. And said to her. I'm going to separate Takeo and Yamato next week. Actually today. I'm saying next week because it's in the next episode. It ended before that. But he said, I'm going to separate Yamato and Takeo. And give you a chance to confess to him. And you need to do it. And she does need to do it. She needs to explain her feelings to him. But then also say, But I know it's not going to work out. Like, I'm really glad how you and Yamato have gotten together. Like, I don't think she even needs to confess. What she needs to do is properly talk to him have a conversation which basically ends with her saying I'm just so happy with how happy you and Yamato are together it doesn't have to be her saying I love you it could be her saying I had really strong f I did love you basically back in the past and now seeing you with Yamato being so happy makes me super happy as well like I think that's the kind of thing she has to do to properly move on she has to properly talk about her past feelings and if she does really just want to steal him from Yamato, well then yeah, she should just, as Oda said, she needs to at least say that. Just pretending to be the good guy doesn't work. It just leads to more heartache, more pain and repressed feelings that eventually implode. So she does need to talk to him because she's going to be seeing a lot more of him because he better never stop being friends with Suna. So, you know, she'll be seeing him for several years to come. Probably for the rest of her life, because Suna and Takio are bros for life. Hell, Takio is now even bros with Oda, <laughs> which is cool. I really want Oda to end up with the older sister. Oda's a cool kind of guy. He's kind of stupid. He reminds me a little bit of the typical shoujo protagonist. He's an idiot, but he's good-hearted, and he's ridiculously good-looking. That's the kind of character that gets thrown into shoujos a lot. They're a little bit too perfect, but they have that slight human aspect to them. His one being that he does realise he's a bit of an idiot. And so he's cool. I really like him. I really want him to end up with the older sister. Because the older sister's damn cool as well. And I want her to be happy. I want them to go off and have their own little love story. While Takio's having his own little love story. So with all of that out of the way. Sudokawa's birthday was awesome. I loved it. Yamato and Takio were being so cute. Throwing out like all of the. You like this right? You like that right? Everything's awesome right? Like just trying to make sure he was having a good day. Without actually saying. Hey we're celebrating your birthday today. It was really funny and really stupid. And I loved it. The fact he didn't even realise it was his birthday was cool. And there were just so many funny scenes at that point. So yeah. I loved the hell out of this episode. I'm loving the hell out of everyone. Of the Ori Monogatari episodes recently. Really never have anything to complain about with them. I mean there are a few things that I wish. Like the fact that Yamato is a bit too perfect. Great after a while. And I would like to see her release some hidden secret from within. Like I doubt that will ever happen in this series after everything that's gone on. But I would have loved if the reason she wasn't going to MM land this time. Like I thought it was because... She was scared that Takio was going to be too big to fit on the rides and he'd feel bad. Like that would have just thrown in a really good strong dash of human emotion there. And they just changed that and 
I don't get how Takio is going to fit on the rides. He's like three times the size of a normal dude. <laughs> Still, no real complaints here because I'm used to that from Ori Monogatari. It is super sweet and sugary. I'm used to it being happy all the time and I'm good with that. Even if it will definitely give me diabetes by episode 24. Still, there should be strong feels next episode. It'll be interesting to see how older Sunakawa does with her confession to Takio, how she takes it. So, thanks for listening, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the review. Definitely leave a comment to let me know what you thought. And subscribe if you haven't to see more episode reviews. And I will see you guys next time.